Hi, everybody, and welcome to part two of my series of how to record a Google Earth track from your GoPro uh, footage. Uh, if you haven't seen part one, uh, subscribe to my channel and you should be able to find it. Um, so this one here is going to mainly be how to record your uh, Google Earth track once you've uh, created it in Google Earth. So uh, to do that, uh, you have to, what I use is uh, OBS uh, Studio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open that up. Now I already have an instance running because I'm recording the screen. Uh, but here's the uh, the second one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click settings and on the settings uh, my my computer is uh, 1360 by 768 uh, so What I'm doing is I'm I'm telling my output of the video to be the same as my input 1360 by 768 and I'm setting it at uh, 29.97 frames a second so that way, uh, that's a pretty standard quality. You can change your settings uh, depending on your computer screen, and but that seems to work pretty well since uh, I'm not running uh, the Google Earth video part full screen in HD or 4K or anything like that. But anyhow, uh, I'm going to close that. And so now the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and open up um, uh, Google Earth Pro. And um, so here's my file path. And uh, what I've done is I've uh, closed the toolbar and the sidebar. So those are off. And I've got my file path all ready here. So I'm going to go ahead and close those back off again. And actually, I'm going to click full screen here. So, all right. So now when I record the screen, it's going to record the whole screen. Uh, so this is all ready to go. And uh, actually, come to think of it, maybe I don't want full screen because I need to minimize this. Um, so I've got my um, uh, OBS Studio ready to go here. And uh, I've got it set for display capture. Um, now, if I turn that off, uh, that will disappear. But um, I want that on. And um, I before I start recording i'm going to hit start recording down here in the lower right corner and that'll start but then what i want to do is minimize this screen so that it's not recording itself and giving you that infinite image like that so anyway this is what we want to record is the google earth file so uh as i said before in the uh, uh segment one um you should have your file path all ready to go. So all you have to do really is just click play and that's going to get your file path uh, ready to go at the beginning. And then like on mine, I clicked uh, the fast forward on it two times. So, um, so that's going to uh, run the screen <clears throat> and it'll just run it through to the end. And it's going along the file path. Now, as you can see, uh, I had to stop at some stoplights along the way and I want to edit out those those pauses in there which I also will edit out of the actual GoPro footage to uh, that I shot but uh, this section here there's no stoplights it's just going on um, now one thing you can do uh, is uh, if I go into the view toolbar and sidebar if you want to you can also if you right click on the file path and it says show elevation profile. So if I do that, um, it's going to show this, uh, which shows the, the speed that you're going and the elevation. And so the blue area is the speed and the pink area is the elevation. So like right here, that's the highest point in my drive. And the speed, actually, is some of these stop signs and stop lights, I was down to zero. So, so here, um, if I go along here, we're kind of at uh, not very high, uh, 42 feet. But you can see that I'm on the highway and my speed is at 
uh, 70 miles an hour at some point here, where I even got 75 right there, it looks like. So, uh, and then once I get uh, down to, like here's a, let's see, somewhere there's a, right here is another stoplight. So I went back down to uh, uh, to zero there. So anyway, um, you can, if you don't want to show that, uh, you can click off of that and um, just record the file path. So, uh, and then once you click, uh, if you do show that, uh, you can, uh, uh, so here, here the file path is rewinding again. It's going to go uh, play through. And if I, if I click on that uh, elevation profile, and then, then I have to re-click the tour. So it's going to go back to the beginning of the tour. And this file is going to wind back like that. And start playing the tour again. Now, one thing I've noticed is that this part down here doesn't go along with the tour. The only way you can really do that is to move your cursor kind of over the tour and sort of keep up with the little blue arrow there. So uh, if you want to record that in your video, uh, then you're going to have to... Just the only way I can see is you're going to have to kind of move your mouse along with the blue arrow there uh, to keep it uh, keep it in the picture. But uh, in any case, uh, once you're all done recording this, then you need to bring it into an editor and uh, combine both parts into one file and edit out the parts you don't want and uh, stuff like that. So I'll show you how to do that in part three. Um, the, once this is done, I can go ahead and just close Google Earth and I've got my file recording here. And so I'm going to go ahead and stop recording and that's the end. See you in the next part.